In a one-on-one -on -one interview with News on One, NAST Vice Chancellor Dr. Errol Naumab expressed his excitement at the potential impact the new material has to lower the cost of construction, specifically for housing. Now, what would be done first thing now that because the patent has only been protected in November last year, the first thing that would happen is that those who want to produce the material would have to start with pilot scaling to look at cost and other elements that they want to focus on so that there is also profitability on the part of the people who want to use this material. But uh, our focus is to ensure that the overall cost is lower than one would have used cement as, as, a, as the basis. And we are confident that based on the scaling um, that, the, that this material can bring down the, the, the cost of construction quite significantly and help many Namibians to get on the housing market. He shared insight into the invention. Now, cement is also a binder. Now what we have produced is a bio-inorganic binder, which means that we, we are able to produce new composite combining biological as well as inorganic material. Cement is an inorganic material, but our material is also inorganic. So we have a new binder, so the invention is a new binder. Dr. Naumab added that the material offers an alternative to cement. Yeah. The, the, the material is better in terms of its uh, environmental credentials compared to cement. And I will say it from the following perspective. The bio-inorganic binder um, is produced from sustainable raw materials that are available in abundance in Namibia. If you look at the biological component that forms part of the binder, this is material that is regenerated. It's plant material that you can grow. The raw materials from manufacturing are derived from Namibia and have made European Union importation and construction standards.